Watch and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss Give Him the Boot 3, another Hellcat, another great Hellcat record sampler. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one that came with the poster of Tim's wife at the time, Brody Armstrong, doll now. Um, it's a cool poster too. Like I said, it's the one where she's looking down with the mohawk, I think. I'm pretty sure the third one is the one that shipped with this poster. Now, I no longer have this sampler. Actually, I have none of the Give the Boots or the punk left. Not entirely sure what happened to those over the years. Traditionally, I would default out and say that I lost them to whoever I was dating at the time because that is what usually happened. But I can't say that for sure here with these. these. There's too many of them, first off. So I'm not entirely sure what happened to any of these. But I still have the poster for this wrapped up with all my other posters. It's under the stairs now. Um, that has absolutely nothing to do with the quality or whatever of this sampler. So I should probably move on. But yeah, this by this point, um, I had come to expect certain things from the Give Them the Boots. And this Give Them the Boot was great. This is the Give Them the Boot memory serves. It has, uh, is this the one that has, uh, Jesus, yes. Yes, this is the one that has uh, uh, the Necromantics Who Killed the Cheerleader. This was my first introduction to that band by way of that song off here, and I absolutely love that song. I will say that overall I don't really love the Necromantics, but they do have their moments, and that song is an incredibly strong addition to this sampler. Uh, what else is on here? Where's my fucking list? Uh, you got, that's right, F- is Suburban Blight is on here. I'm not sure if it was this or if it was one of the other Given the Boots where I discovered F-. But their first couple records were great, but then it was Wake Up Screaming was sort of the, the one that was produced by Steve Albini. That record, fuck, that record's a beast. Um, they were on here, Power of Moonlight from Tiger Army, which all in all isn't that bad of a song, but I always felt that with each of Tiger Army's sort of subsequent releases after their first one that they would get like it, the records would feel more and more labored and they, they didn't seem as effortless as their debut what just died oh motherfucker my backlight went out it's really frustrating so now i have to come up here and can you just unscrew you fucker it's like, I'm not asking for much. I just want a goddamn light to work for like one entire video. But apparently, well, what's this now? Oh, Jesus. All right, I don't even know what's happening here. I screwed this right up. Oh no, no, I didn't. It's fine. It's not screwed up. Backlight. And there we go. Put that behind me because that is fucking glaring. There we go, perfect. Now I'm a professional again. Um. Yeah, like I said, Tiger Army stuff, I don't know. The first record was fucking great, and then everything from that point forward felt like they had to put more effort in to pull it off. I think in my video I did about Tiger Army's first one, I compared their subsequent releases to the overwhelming amount of work that Metallica ended up pouring into Load and Reload. Jesus, this has nothing to do with Give the Boot 3. What else was on here? Uh, of course, uh, let's see, uh, of course, Lars Fredrickson, The Bastards with Skunks, that's cool and everything, but I, by this point, I had sort of come to expect that the Given the Boots would be putting new music on from bands that I loved, namely Rancid, and on this one, if memory serves to, I don't think that happens here. No, no, there's no new Rancid song. They got Golden Gate Fields from their 2000, their self-titled 2000 release. But I love, these were exciting. This was like, it was a different time. Like when a label you love was putting out a sampler that was filled with a bunch of bands that you love, plus a bunch of bands that you hadn't heard yet. And it was for like eight bucks or something. It was a cause for celebration because you knew as the result of that sampler, you were going to get like some unreleased songs or you're going to get some B-sides or whatever, as well as just some straight tracks that were on these new bands records that you hadn't heard yet. So it was incredibly fun. And this, uh, this is just sort of 
strengthening my belief at this point in the Give Them the Boots. Give Them the Boot was, 3 was amazing and it was a completely worthwhile purchase. I just wish I knew what happened to it, you know? I will say this, is this the one that's all fucked up at the end? Yes, if you are checking this out via Spotify, like I imagine most people are now, um, One Stone's Throw from a Riot, the track, the absolutely fucking killer track from the Gadgets, unfortunately isn't on here. It says that it is, but it's actually We Evolve by Mouthwash, the track that's before it. So the digital release is sort of play strong, I guess, when they're setting this record up on Spotify. And because it isn't some flash in the pan pop star that's currently making all the money, nobody gives a fuck at Spotify because this is just some old punk rock sampler from a bunch of bands that no one cares about, I guess, when compared to Ariana Grande and her gargantuan talent as a songwriter and musician. So it's kind of sad, but nonetheless, yeah, the gadget song don't work. If you're checking this out on Spotify, it's not that it just don't work. It's just not there. But seeing as how I've been rambling for like six minutes, I'm going to stop. This was completely pointless. I wasted your time. And I do apologize for that because I know everybody's time is kind of important. And yeah, sorry for wasting six and a half minutes of your life while I attempted to discuss Give Them the Boot 3 from Hellcat Records. Like always, if for some reason you did end up liking this, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, don't forget that the world is a better place because you're in it, okay? And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.